Turn the microphone off. Turn the from Rome, New York. She's an education major. She's doing her pre-teaching experience currently. Uh, she rejoined us after a couple of years. She's a breast broker and very much has been a strong team member. I'm very pleased that she chose to come back to Portland. Janet Rowell. Thank you, Corey. The next senior, senior will be recognizing Molly Miller. Freestyler, ended up swimming a little bit longer distance freestyle, and then turned into a breaststroker. And part of the reason was some of the issues she had battling a shoulder problem. But was very pleased last year as a junior, finished off the meet at the SUNYAC Championships with lifetime bests across the board. Molly's been a tremendous team member, great person all around, Molly Miller. Backstroke on the medleys, 
and also finally in not only the 100 backstroke a couple of years back, but also the 400 AM. And she's even gotten 100 fly at SUNYACs and been top eight. So she's got a lot of ability to swim a number of different events. Abby's one of the people that I don't think I've ever really not seen her smile. She brings a, a great attitude to practice every day, uh, very enjoyable. And I remember her freshman year going in the weight room and trying to get her to do sit-ups and then watching her over the last two years as she's teaching her teammates, getting her teammates motivated and showing them how to do things. She's been a tremendous leader for us as well. Abigail McDonald. meet in the 500 in addition to the backstroke events. Kelsey is very good friends with Abby and it's uh, very similar in terms of their disposition. Always smiling, always having a good time and brightening the days of those around them. Kelsey Rowe. For the men. Our first senior from Vestal, New York, Daniel McQuarrie. Dan, Dan came in and he's been a strong breaststroker for us all four years. Uh, coming from Vestal, he's uh, participated, he's been top eight in the 100 breaststroke at conference, been on the bubble for the 200 breaststroke, came in in excellent shape this year in the preseason and he's been producing very strongly for us all season long. The thing that I notice about Dan that I think I'm not sure if even his teammates notice he's the kind of kid that picks up little things here and there. For example, <clears throat> beginning of practice, he's the guy that grabs a wrench, tightens up the lane lines. Anytime we're swimming long course and I say, okay, who's gonna tighten up the lane lines? I look and he's already doing it. So he's the kind of guy that helps everybody around him. He picks up a lot of slack. Dan McQuarrie. Senior from Shenango Forts, Daniel Maximovich, better known as Dax. <laughs> Dan, better known as Dax, actually swam for a former swimmer of mine in high school, and uh, his high school coach told me how strong he thought he was going to be as a college swimmer, and he was he was right because he's a good swimmer and he is strong. And Dax last year was SUNYAC champion in the 50-yard freestyle, also part of our 200 medley relay, which is a school and conference record for the time. And he's also part of our 400 medley school record. Dan Maximovich. Senior from Frewsburg, New York, Justin Nelson. <laughs> Justin came in in freshman year. He set a school record in the 200 yard backstroke for the men, broke it his sophomore year. Broke it again his junior year in addition to setting the conference record. Very close race, but, uh, ended up being a touchout, so it was a very impressive swim on his part. Uh, but he's been the kid that's come in and he's worked his tail off every day. Right away from his freshman year, he's been one of those people that sets the tone and sets the pace for everybody in practice. Uh, the last couple years, before last year, he would double up, he would go to 1650 and the 200 backstroke on the last day of the championship meet. And then as he got to uh, finals and we're doing awards, he would go up for three awards in a row. The 800 free relay from the previous night, and then he'd stick around and go up for the mile, because he'd be top eight in the mile, and then he'd go up again for the 200 backstroke. So last year we decided not to put him in the mile, focused on the backstroke, and I think we're very pleased, and I think he is as well, with how that ended up. Justin Nelson. Our next 
next season, our next senior, Judd Simon from Oneida, New York. In addition to flashy shoes and good haircuts, Judd has been able to swim a little bit of everything for us and very well. He's been seated very well in the conference in 50 freestyle, all the freestyle events up through the 1,000. Uh, the 2 IM, he's a conference finalist last year. The 4 IM, conference finalist. His stroke events, he can go the 100 or the 200 of all of the strokes as well. And he's evolved mostly into an IM or a backstroker for this season, which is good because that was definitely a team need. So he's been willing to step up as a captain and as a leader and do some of the things that the team needs as well. Judd's had a very good four years with us, and we're excited to see him here as a senior, recognizing Monsignor now. Judd Simon. Benjamin Strickland. Yeah. Ben's been an interesting swimmer in a, lot, in a number of respects. Uh, last year he was the SUNYAC champion in the 200 yard IM. Uh, set a conference meet record in the 100 backstroke two years ago, going 51.9. And he's been 51 in his 100 butterfly. Last year, time trial, he went a 58-2, I believe it was, in the 100 breaststroke. And I think it's unusual. And he's also been 47 in the 100 free. It's unusual to get somebody who can do four strokes, four 100s of stroke and freestyle that quickly. Uh, but he's a kid that's worked very hard in the weight room. He's worked very hard in the pool. And he's one of those kids that always seems to taper very well. I remember two years ago, he went into the SUNYAC meet seated with a 57 and going from a 57 to a 51 over the course of a couple weeks. I have to say it was a little bit unexpected, but also a very pleasant surprise. And uh, it was interesting because at the end of that race, uh, Ben comes over and he walks up to me and his first thing, he says, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry, I just set a conference meet record 100 back. Said, well, I kind of glided into that third turn and I would have gone faster. So I was like, all right, I'll take your apology, but I'm going to be happy with that, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Strick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the seniors will stay on the whole cadet.